insert this video because one day I seen them they don't like to be recorded I realized that one day I saw them and why did it attack my window I was so scared oh. <sighs> oh. <sighs> so hard again. I don't know how I always manage to leave right on time when I try to plan to like get there ahead of time I don't know how that always happens right on time okay I was like oh yeah I'm about to be early today I'm about to get my stuff together psych I thought don't mind my brakes I need to get new brakes too there's a lot of things your girl gotta do and oh my goodness okay so I was watching this video in the morning and it was just talking about like what do we value do we value money and how I'm gonna make a playlist of like all these videos that I think are very inspirational and like motivational because I could tell you but they have a way of of captain ah! the squirrel the squirrel ah. sorry the squirrel just ran in the middle of the street and like you'll see some of them dead on the street but I don't want to kill any of them like they are savage. These squirrels are so savage. But anyway, so they have, um, I was watching this video in the morning and it was very inspirational. It was talking about like chasing your dreams rather than chasing money. And I know a lot of, a lot of people tell us this when we grow up and then a lot of people don't do that. Like for instance, my parents, they've always said to follow your dreams, but they've also said to make sure you take care of yourself, make sure you have money to do what you gotta do. So that's the only thing um, that I feel conflicted about because I know the facts behind not everyone making it and I still believe I'm going to make it but I guess I have a backup plan but the idea of a backup plan I don't really like. Sorry I'm trying to like, it's really hot. Anything for the vlogs because I'm about to sweat it out because I feel like if I open up the window the quality of the sound is not going to be good so anyways. so. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, but I was just saying that for a long time I felt very conflicted because doing ultrasound was not my first option. Like, if it was up to me, I would just be making music, I would just be painting, I would just create, I would just be creating. And I feel like the fact that I have been putting my time into school, I haven't been putting time into my creativity. And I kind of, I kind of touched bases on that yesterday. I don't know if I added that clip in. Oh, I haven't edited that one yet. But I was kind of touching base, base on that yesterday, like saying how I don't want to work so much while I'm going my, to my externship because I want to make sure that I still have time, like my like actual free time to do things that I want to do, you know? So that video was just talking about like, don't chase the money, chase your dreams. And I was just like, sometimes I wake up and I'm like, man, maybe I should have did did it a different way but I do truly believe that everything happens for a reason so even though we don't see it now like this is part of my plan God knew that I was going to be motivated to go to school because of my parents and still follow my dreams because of my parents too because they had dreams and you learn from the people that you see you learn from your elders and I know that they've had dreams and maybe they didn't chase them because they had me and they had to provide and they had to do all this other stuff but I think in my circumstance I'm not in the same exact circumstance as them so having to provide wasn't the option but then they're like girl we got to take care of you like you got to do something so I am very glad that I went to school because now either way you're going to be working a job you know and whether it be at Target uh, wherever 
I don't know why I picked Target. I love Target, so I'm not trying to just, but I'm just saying like, no matter what, you're always gonna have a job until you make what you love your job. And then, and then when that's happening, it doesn't even feel like a job because it's something that you love to do so much. But right now, since I have so many dreams and aspirations, like I have to provide for them. I have to make a living in order for me to do that. So I really resonated well with the message of the video, but then I also knew that I did the right thing in going to school so that after like, I'll be able to have my own place. I'll be able to have things that I need to provide for things that I want. And I think a lot of what I want is what I love to do. So I want more of that in my life. I want to create more. I want to travel. I want to do a lot of things with my life. So this is just the first step. Sometimes I always feel like I'm, like I'm not where I want to be. And then I have to remind myself that I'm only 21. Like. I got a lot of life ahead of me and, and not to just sit back and be lazy but just to enjoy the process of getting to where you want to be you know you're not gonna just wake up and be where you want to be you gotta make moves you gotta actually be productive so that when your blessing comes you'll be right there to receive your blessing so that is where I'm at right now and I just wanted to touch base on that because I guess for me I was just feeling um, I was like man should I have done that but I was like no I should have done that and and it's a good thing that I did because then anything happens, I'll always be able to provide for myself. Like, even if I don't find my husband, just kidding, my husband's out there. <laughs> but in worst case scenario, if I was alone and I just had me and my dog, like me and my dog would be set. We would be so set, you know? So that's why. I, I don't want to be that person that just says, oh, go follow your dreams and then you don't have no money and I guess either way I believe it works out because everything happens for a reason seriously everything so I don't want to be like oh it's not gonna work out if you don't do it that way but I guess the way it worked out for me was good and, and I'm very grateful that I took the route that I did to get to where I want to be I'm still not there yet but I'm glad I, I've been making these decisions taking these paths so just want to let y'all know that even if you're not where you want to be or you kind of went a different direction just keep your dream in mind you can always accomplish your dream you can always do it and just don't dwell on the negativity of the aspects because the more I was dwelling on how I didn't want to be in school that was kind of not allowing me to focus on other things that I wanted to do so I was focusing on my time on that so just managing your time wisely even the way you think is part of your time so managing your thoughts managing your actions and and you'll become productive, you'll get to the place you want to be, with who you want to be. Like everything will manifest itself into existence when it's supposed to be. You just have to have faith that it's going to happen. So, that is the lesson for today. It is burning up the roof. The roof, the roof is on fire. I just need some water. They said we don't need no water, we just let this burn, burn. Burn, but ooh, child, I am burning. Like, good thing I put deodorant on. I should have put like a swab of it on because I'm gonna be sweating today. Um, that's why I wore white to to reflect the sun. How white reflects the sun and then the black absorbs it. Yeah, I'm reflecting the sun right now because. It is too hot for all this. I got no AC. Oh, yeah. I feel that little breeze coming. I know you're there, Wind. Bless me, please. Bless me. Okay. All right, y'all. That is enough talking for this moment in time right now. I'm probably going to touch base with y'all a little bit later. What is up with this touch base? I keep saying this. Thanks, Rocio. Got my eyebrows done. I haven't got my eyebrows done in forever. I've been trying to do it myself, but I was looking at old pictures like when I used to go get them done, and I was like, I need some help. <laughs> I need some work done. So I got them done today, finally. Got my mustache waxed because you know your girl was looking kind of beastie. 
and yeah, I'm just excited I'm about to go do, I don't know what. I gotta go scan today too, and I'm about to bring my friend, you know, so that'll be kind of cool. And then, I'll update y'all later. Find a pot. Get your pot ready. Garlic. I need garlic, peanut oil, sesame oil, rice, so two. Rice vinegar. Okay, let's see what we have. So, ah. obviously, your girl's not prepared. My mom has made this before, so I was like, oh, we'll have the ingredients for it. I thought. Like, this is supposed to have good lighting here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> In the fridge. Okay, so obviously we don't have what I'm looking for right now. But that is no problem. We will improvise. So let's see. I'm not gonna lie, normally I don't cook, but I told her that I would start helping her. So after I cook this, we gotta do a survey. We gotta see. We're gonna see who likes it. Oh, okay. Getting somewhere. We have sesame seed oil. What other kind of oil did you say? I already forgot. Okay, sesame seed oil. Peanut oil. Two tablespoons rice vinegar. Oh my goodness. Okay. So, we don't have that. Let's see what I'm gonna do. Found some rice vinegar. Okay, so two out of the three I needed. Rice vinegar, we don't have peanut oil. Peanut oil, what in the world? Who eats that? I mean, I'm pretty sure people eat that, but still, I don't got that. I don't have peanut oil, but I have grapeseed oil. I'm gonna use some of this. Oh well, <laughs> we will see. <laughs> okay. What? Nothing? I'm vlogging that. You wanna vlog me? Oh, come on, is it gonna be short? Yeah, we're over here, let's get our ingredients going. I got my turkey. I'm substituting this for another oil that I have because I don't know. Do you have peanut oil? We have sesame seed oil. Yeah, I have those too. Okay. So I have my rice vinegar, sesame seed oil. I chopped up my cabbage. Come over here and come show them real quick. Chopped up my cabbage, got my green onion, and then we're gonna get some rice going in our steamer over here. I haven't set it up, but you just add the water because it's gonna boil. We got our skillet prepared because that's where we're gonna saute everything. What's going on with this wall over here? <laughs> we're in construction right now. Show them how our house breathes. Wait, wait for it. 
Up right there. I love them. Oh, you smart woman. And the way my mom taught me, say you want to do like one fourth cup. You're going to fill your rice to one fourth cup, whatever measurement. So I'm going to right here. And you could do this on a stove too, but with the steamer, it just makes your rice perfect. So, it's at one fourth cup. One thing you must, must do with your rice is you're gonna rinse it. So we're gonna take our rice. Let me take you with me. We're gonna take our rice. Take your strainer, pour your rice in. And you're gonna rinse and, oh, there's my other one. Dang, Titus! Okay. Place it in this little bowl. Teach you guys how to do it on. Then we went to one fourth cup before, which was right here. And then we're just gonna go to the next one, which would be a little bit more like one third cup, or you can even go to one and a half cup in between. I want too much because it, it won't evaporate and it'll look mushy or taste mushy. Pour it into your rice. Take a fork and whisk it, but you know what? I'm ghetto, so I'm gonna do this. <laughs> that little cabbage won't hurt it. Okay. Then we're gonna set our timer. Okay, so then we're gonna heat. I'm using this instead of peanut oil. I think it just needs a frying oil. The peanut oil is probably way better, but you gotta do what you gotta do. So peanut oil, it calls for two tablespoons. So the first direction says heat the peanut oil along with one tablespoon of the sesame oil in a non-stick skillet over medium heat. So let's turn this to our medium heat. My knuckle hairs off. Nice though. I mean, I wish my other hand looked like that. I don't even think you could tell. <laughs> wow. Beauty hack. Taking our meat. Now I just 
just have the meat added. I added the meat first, then I did all the cabbage and the green onions. And the meat is getting brown, but just making sure to like chop it up still, so I didn't chop it as I'm not gonna lie, that tastes terrible right now. <laughs> so I'm about to look up and try to find what I can do to spice it up a bit. Stir fry seasoning. It's just, I knew it, I didn't have enough. And usually meat, it's better to like cook the meat and the flavor. That's what I'm doing right now because I need to save it. I didn't want to record this part out there because you're not supposed to let your, your eaters know that it doesn't taste good right now because then they're going to think it's not going to taste good later. So you got to improvise on your own time. So that's what I'm doing. soy sauce and brown sugar water orange sponge I'm just gonna do the basic ones I don't want it to be too crazy I'm gonna be like I don't want to eat it so I'm gonna add some sugar and I'm gonna add some soy sauce to it to just soy sauce that's probably as good because like liquid salt they'll be good diabetes after <laughs> and that's it we'll see what it tastes but I'm gonna get their feedback I'm gonna get what they think it tastes like so we're gonna see okay so a little update that flour I mean that flour that sugar was not brown sugar it was brown flour I'm so glad I read it again because I just said brown and I was like oh no that's the one and then when I actually like was about to get it I was like oh like the Lord saved me because I was like true I don't know what to do but basically I added in the recipes that said before I had like something sweet so I added something sweet I didn't have brown sugar but I actually I added like this coconut nectar sounds weird but I think I'm gonna pull it off and then I added um I found this in here it was Bragg's coconut liquid aminos it's an all-purpose seasoning I do even know seasoning look like this sometimes so I saw on the back it said walk and stir fries. I said, oh, I'm adding a little bit of this in there and we gonna call it a day. So I added this in there, I added soy sauce, I added some nectar. This is actually the nectar that I added it to. It's like a vegan, it's sweet. So I want to add a little sweetness to it. And yeah, it tastes like stir fry. So I think I'm gonna pull it off. We're gonna see the reactions after when they eat it, but I think I'm gonna be okay. I think, I mean, the I guess the lesson of this week is that life takes time, you know, and with time you learn more. And right now I'm like, I'm still young. So I'm just, I keep reminding myself that I'm young. So I think I always like think of myself as being like really old. I'm like, oh damn, I gotta have it all together. But it came together. And this is a lesson because now I know that sometimes recipes don't be having a lot of salt. I was so tempted to throw some Glory's on there and call it a day and just have it. I feel like Glory's fix everything. And I was like, no, this needs a stir fry taste. So I think it's going to be good. Oh, and that's my rice too. So let's show you the finished product. Oh, this little boy. He's just a little man. It's pretty good, huh? Then my rice, perfect. You don't even have to. Ooh, you don't even have to look at it. I mean, I mean, you gotta look at it, but you don't gotta watch it. And then I just take it off the heat so it stops cooking. Ooh, that is hot. And then after, I just gotta clean up my mess because I made a big mess. But we'll see you when dinner time. When dinner comes, that was in there. Look in there and look for something that says aminos. In here? In the fridge. Taste it without the aminos. Is it that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wait, taste it first. I need you to taste the regular flavor. Stop. 
honest opinion. I need to know. Could use a little more seasoning. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the seasoning. No, because I like really, it was a struggle. What they called for the seasoning, it did not taste like that at first. And I was like, I gotta spruce it up. <laughs> But yeah, that was my same reaction too. But I thought it was pretty good. I never follow the instructions. I always had like extra seasoning. What do you season stir fry with? I just need to know. Tell our viewers. Seasoning salt. Oh, you use Lori's? Not Lori's, Lowry's. Oh, same difference. <laughs> no, I mean like sea salt. Oh, I use Pepper, that. Pepper, garlic salt. I didn't use powder. Oh, see, she knows. That's what years of experience gets you. But no, it wasn't bad, huh? She was being nice. I thought it was good. I ate it. <laughs> but I knew it too. I was like, this needs some more seasoning because that was just not cutting it. It's not doing it for me. So, let's go scan. I kind of don't. I've been asking my friend for forever to meet me and she finally agreed to today. So I didn't want to like cancel on her even though she probably doesn't care, but like I need to anyway. So I'm about to go down to school. My camera's on 15%, so I'm probably not gonna vlog at school or vlog going there on there or nothing cause it's just extra. But I gotta leave and get gas in my car and do all this other stuff. So I think that's gonna be it for today. I just wanted to get her reaction to the food, to the cooking. <clears throat> but, woo. Well, like I said, we are growing. So, I don't expect to have it all together, but slowly but surely, all the things that I aspire to be, all the things that I want to get done are going to get done. Even cooking, even, whoo. A lot of stuff, a lot of stuff we can work on together. So. That is it for today. Like, comment, subscribe if you really like the channel. I mean, only do it if you honestly like. I'm just, I just say that because that's what you, people usually say at the end. But also so I just know what you guys really do like and what you guys really don't like and I can provide content. Ooh. It has both in it is both entertaining, inspiring, all that I want. Basically those entertaining and inspiring and yeah, that and love it. I hope I just have that love and that I could capture that with my channel. But that is it for today. I keep saying that but it is coming to an end. I gotta get dressed. Maybe I'll show my scrub outfit of the day. Hey. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, so basically just plain scrubs today. They have like blue like accent colors. It's basically the color of my socks. So that's it for today. Like I said, I'm not gonna vlog later because um, I don't have enough, I don't have enough juice for this today. So yeah, bye guys. <laughs>